absolutely strongly support this legislation. Mr Speaker. I call Simon O'Connor. It's always really good to hear a government MP who does strongly support the government's legislation. Not many of them do. No, it's true, not many do. So it's, um, it is a pleasure to stand uh, and speak to this residential tenancies prohibiting letting fees amendment bill and to proudly not uh, support it. Unlike the other side, costs don't get magicked away simply by a piece of legislation. And, you know, listening to the speaker who's just taken her chair, and as a constituent MP myself, you do hear these stories of people uh, struggling. It's a reality. Um, but this bill is not going to reduce any costs, because the costs are just going to be developed into a new area. Um, put it really, really simply, and other speakers have already, you can take away the letting fee, but landlords will just then allocate that in to the weekly rent. Arguably speaking, even if they decide just to up the rent by probably the minimum that they would of $5, that's ultimately going to be more money that someone renting is going to pay in order to cover the loss of the letting fees. It's a simple element of human nature. And at the end of the day, landlords are not bad people. We know that most landlords are actually mum and dads, might be just the one other house that they own. Uh, where they're trying to generate some income, more often than not actually just to cover the costs. And uh, we're touching on that, of course. We've just had this government announce today in Auckland that they're effectively going to double uh, the tax on petrol, just as they've increased a whole lot of other costs and look to do so even more. Um, this is something which landlords will have to pass on and will pass on. And as I said at the start, this bill is not going to magic away the costs. At the end of the day, those renting are going to have to pay more money. Um, we also heard from the speaker who resumed her seat about the, the trouble of families moving. Um, and that's true, people have to move. I've had to move a number of times myself in life. It can be expensive. But, but two things were overlooked in the contribution. The first is, particularly for those who are struggling, that the Ministry of Social Development provides support uh, for bonds. I know this because I used to sign off thousands of dollars of them a week. There is uh, support there. The second is, is Probably starting to uh, illustrate the second point uh, with the story, uh, landlords get a letting agent in in order to help them vet to make the decisions. It's a, a service, if you will, a, a convenience, not only to the landlord, uh, but also to those who are wanting uh, to rent. They go through that process, and in many ways they're contributing, of course, by paying the letting fee in order to get the place. Well, a lot of landlords now will either rush that process or avoid it. And avoiding it means, of course, that the house won't be available for renting. That's not going to make it any easier for families moving. Or the uh, landlord's going to rush through the process and find a few days later that actually this isn't working out uh, at all. And they're going to do what they are allowed to do in the law, which is move that family or that person on. So I'm uh, suspecting we're going to see quite a churn in the rental market or a higher churn in the rental market because of a bill like this. As I said at the start, one does, does not magic away the costs. And I think it's an unfortunate element of this government, and it's certainly a problem in the left, that they just believe that whatever they say, whatever they write down in law, uh, makes things good and easy. Virtue signaling. Virtue signaling, as my colleague uh, Scott Simpson um, has indicated, and look, this certainly fits into it. It just looks so good. We're just going to abolish the letting fees. You just don't have to worry about that anymore, tenants. And look, as a tenant myself in the past, absolutely at one level you'd love to see that go. The short-term win, though, will be instantly replaced by a long-term loss. Landlords will charge more. They will start to do that already, even before we've concluded this first reading. They'll be looking to uh, increase the rent week after week after week on the tenants. And this, I would suggest, is just going to be one failed approach, one failed policy more that this government is introducing. If they really wanted to um, help in the residential tenancy space, um, it would actually be continuing to engage in the private market as well, helping people, um, well, seeing the opportunities to actually own, to, to rent. Uh, there, are, there are greater opportunities than this virtue signaling. So look, really, it's a simple bill. It makes the simplest of mistakes. This is only going to transfer the costs on into rent, as I say, too. It's going to make landlords race through this uh, process themselves as they initially attempt to save some money. Um, that's going to lead to poor decisions. And at the end of the day, the people who are going to suffer most 
which is the irony of all left-wing policies, is the very people they're trying to help. That's right. Uh, the Honourable Ron Mark. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Well, it's quite clear that the opposition has run out a bit of puff on...